Hey everybody, Paul here and welcome back to Best Food Review Road Trip. This is the channel where we travel all over the country, eat at a lot of unique and cool places, and bring reviews to you. Today we're in Orlando, Florida. And what's in Orlando, Florida? You got Disney, you got Universal, you got SeaWorld. So that means that people from all over the country, all over the world, come here to not only play but to dine. So there's tons of different types of food places around here. Today we're gonna go and we're gonna eat Brazilian at Mrs. Potatoes. They got some really cool things on the menu, so let's go inside and check it out. Walking into this restaurant, the first thing I notice is it seems really small. The dining room is little, but there's a huge, beautiful outdoor area. But wait, before you go outside, check out all of the Mr. Potato Heads they have. It's incredible. We decided to eat outdoors today because it is perfect, beautiful weather, especially it's the middle of winter. This is why we visit Florida. The menu here is actually pretty extensive given the size of restaurant. You're gonna get lots of options for appetizers. You can get potatoes made in two different ways, traditionally baked or in what they call rosti, which is like hash browns. And they give you a ton of options of how you want those served. They have a variety of drinks, beer. Of course, we had to get ourselves a beer. I was kind of surprised they didn't have any Brazilian beer, but I like Corona. For an appetizer, I ordered the crusted brie. So it's basically a wheel of cheese that's been deep fried. You gotta check this out because I'm gonna dig into it. Oh, pretty little flower. Let's take that off. Cut into this. Oops. That looks yummy and gooey and messy. Oh my god. I'm gonna try a little bit of this without anything else, just the cheese and breading. Mmm. Mmm, so good. Okay. I also put some cheese and a little bit of that sauce on one of these little bread slices they gave us. Mm. Mm. The sauce is basically um, sweet chili sauce. It's really good. I love sweet chili sauce. I can just like drink it. Mm. My turn to eat this brie and it is so gooey and delicious. Look at this. Look at this. Okay. <laughs> Look at it's how gooey it is. Look, it's dripping from the bottom. You see that? Drippy. Mmm. You know, one of the greatest gifts in life is cheese. Yeah, yeah, I think that's right. It's cheese. And this brie cheese is right up at the top of that. Look at that. Mm, so good. You know, another thing that we got are empanadas. We love empanadas. And usually they're really small. Look at the size of this thing. It's pretty good, right? Like the size of my head. And we got three different flavors. So we got beef, shrimp, and I don't remember the other flavor. Look at that. Is that wonderful or what? They gave us several different salsas and hot sauces and um, they look amazing but I'm gonna put a little bit on this one they didn't label them so I don't know which is which I'm gonna try this one on here it's gonna fall it's gonna be messy all right that is the best empanada I think I've ever had in my life I'm gonna put some of this white stuff on it. I don't know what this white stuff is, but mm, it's like sour cream. Mmm. Flaky, delicious, wonderful, wonderful. Mm. I'm gonna break into this next empanada. It's kind of hot. This is like a like opening up a present. You know, you crack it open. Ooh, this one I believe is shrimp. So I'm gonna take a little piece of this. Ooh, look at that steam coming off. All right. 
I love like the crust on things. I know it's the most fat being part. Paul's mm. mm. right. 100%. Either I need to order more empanadas in my life or this is the best empanada I've ever tasted. Even better than the one I had in Costa Rica. Oh, it's so good. So one of the cool things that they have here is they have what's called rosti. And what that is, is it's potatoes that are uh, hash browns baked into a patty with particular insides. You get to choose. So check this out. What I got was calabrese sausage and onions and something else in there that looks delicious. We open it up, it's hot, looks wonderful. Looks wonderful. Um, it looks like a big piece of breakfast is what it looks like to me, but pretty excited. Let's take a bite of this. There it is, let's see here. That is amazing. That is absolutely wonderful. Look at the cheese, the sausage. It's cooked perfect. If you get a chance to try rosti potatoes, do it. The rosti potatoes are a really beautiful dish. Mmm. Carl's right. That is insanely good. The last thing that we ordered was a side order of yucca fries. If you don't know what yucca fries are, the yucca plant, the root, they actually take it, they deep fry it, and you guys, it's far better than french fries. Yucca fries are the bomb. If you get a chance, get them. Oh my goodness, the chef wanted us to have a piece of Brazilian flan and we decided even though we we're about ready to burst at the seams from everything we tried of course we couldn't say no so check this out it's beautiful it's a wonderful texture and if you're not familiar with what flan is it's full of eggs and sugar and a brazilian flan is going to have condensed cream which means it's going to be extra sweet mm. that is wonderful that really is wonderful. It's smooth, sweet, but not um, overly decadent. I'm going to share it with Paul, though. It's too much for just me. I am so excited to try this out. It looks wonderful. And it's got this, I don't know what this sauce is at the bottom. Sugar. Sugar? Like, like sugar, liquefied sugar? What a genius thing to do. Liquefy sugar. You know, they've probably been doing it forever, but what do I know? Let me try it out. You know what? <clears throat> I really couldn't get a good taste of it. So I'm going to have to do that again. Look at that. Super fluffy. That is absolutely wonderful. I don't know why I've gone my whole life and never tried Brazilian flan. I will be looking for this everywhere. All right, everybody. So what did we think of Mrs. Potatoes? Brazilian food. I'm just gonna do this. It blew our minds. Guys, the food here was phenomenal. For a strip mall restaurant, it was outstanding. Familiar. A lot of the stuff, like the Rossi potatoes, it's hash browns stuffed with good stuff. I mean, how can you go wrong? You know, the empanadas were by far the best empanadas we have eaten, and we've eaten a lot of empanadas, let me tell you. Oh, I have to point out too, Mrs. Potato, I guess that's her name, the lady that owns the place, I don't know, but apparently the uh, waiters told her that we were shooting a video, and so she actually comped us that dessert. It was amazing, absolutely amazing. The people here are fun, they're informative, Everyone here speaks Portuguese, so you know it's legit Brazilian, right? It's not just some college kid working here on the weekends. They're all passionate about what they're serving. I could go on all day, guys. 
what I'm going to say is this. If you're in Orlando for any reason at all, do yourself a favor. Look up Mrs. Potato. Come down. Get yourself lunch or dinner. They're open late. You are not going to regret it. If you guys like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, but most importantly, shoot us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. At some point, we're going to be in your neck of the woods because guess what? We're traveling all over the country. And we eat a lot of food and we want to know what you like, hate, or maybe you just think it's a really interesting place that we should make a video of. And if we make a video in a place that you recommend, we're going to give you a shout out during that video. Also, one other thing, guys, not everybody's fortunate enough to always be able to you know, get a lot of food in their lives. So maybe you can help out by going down to your local food bank. Small donations help everybody and it'll make you feel good too. Till next time guys, don't eat again. See ya.